we are going to be doing some shopping. I am a huge fan of doing my grocery shopping online for two reasons. The first being, in my opinion, it's easier to avoid the temptation to throw things into the cart that I don't need. That last minute candy bar at checkout, not happening. Forget about it. Also, I know exactly what I'll be paying for. I could see the cart, tally it up every time I add something into it, and I can put things into my cart and take them out of my cart with ease. No friction. I don't got to walk all the way back to the end of the edge of the store, throw back on the shelf, all that good stuff. So let's do some grocery shopping for someone with a $120 monthly budget, which boils down to about 30 bucks a week. And we'll make the assumption that they only head to the store twice a month. So we have 60 bucks at our disposal, which honestly seems like a lot. Let's see what we can do with it. So we're going to go over to walmart.com. This is what you're going to see when you head on over to walmart.com. We're going to go to pickup and delivery. Once you're in pickup and delivery, we can start searching for food. So let's start with carbs. Let's do some pasta. How about some pasta? Let's do it. Yep, that's the one I want. Let's do three of them. We're about to eat a lot of spaghetti. Here's my cart tallying up. And usually if the screen is bigger, you can just check like that. Boom. 234 is what we're at. Shoot, what do we got? 58 bucks to go. If you're going to have pasta, you need pasta sauce. Absolutely. And let's go with this one. Great value. Take two of them, $1.28. Nice, up to five bucks. Next, we're still sticking with our carbs. Let's get some rice. Looks like I obviously purchased this one in the past. But that isn't actually, that's not even the best deal. Don't even trust me on that. I think I'm going to go with, hmm. So what you can do is you can go to price low to high. That's really what I want. I'm going to go with this one. Heck yeah. 72 cents for 16 ounces. That's a good amount. That's going to last. Let's do some oats, some oatmeal. We want the 42 ounce canister for sure seven cents five cents great value old-fashioned oats 42 ounce 42 ounce let's let's double check here i want to make sure that's the lowest price got an 18 ounce for 10 cents yeah no we're going with 42 see how these this is lower per ounce and we're going to be eating a lot of oatmeal go with the old-fashioned whatever that means that's cinnamon in it honey in it now let's get some bread let's get that bread and we are going to do, you can see I've tried all the bread here. We're going to go to price low to high. And I think I want to do the wheat. Yep. Great value wheat. Two, two of those 84 cents. Let's go. How about some, you can't have bread without peanut butter. Come on now. Let's do some peanut butter. We're up to, we're, oh, we have nine items in our cart. And it's not even 10 bucks left. So this is good. Great value, cream, peanut butter. Eight ounces. Let's see the low to high. We're going to be eating a lot of peanut butter, though. So I kind of want to get something that's going to be a good size for us. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the great value, 40 ounce. It's three bucks, but it's 40 ounces. Eight cents compared to 13 cents. Nine cents. Yeah, I think that's the one I want. I'm using a lot of peanut butter. And if you can't, you can't have peanut butter without jelly. Get some jelly here. And I'm going to, yeah, let's do low to high again. I want the 30 ounce. Yeah, that's the one. Look at that. Five cents per ounce. And all I got to do is use a knife instead of squeeze it. It's a piece of cake. I use a knife all the time. I'm actually a professional at making PB&Js. Next, we got to get our cereal on, without a doubt. This is probably the one I'm going to go with because that's the one I usually get. But $1.33, it's the same exact thing. I eat this one. I eat this one all the time. This is the same exact thing. I think I bought this one first, and I was like, what am I doing? Switch to this one. It's great. From there, we're going to need to get milk. And you got two options here. I know the almond milk is 
you can get two of these for two bucks, but let me show you the other option. Let me show you or two of those for four bucks. Excuse me. Uh, let's just do milk. And from here, you can do a 1%. That's 318. That's actually the cheaper choice between the almond milk and this. Probably depends on your preference. At this point, I'm used to almond milk. However, I'm going to go with this one for just the sake of clarity, you know, because you could get two half gallon almond milks, which is two bucks. That'll equal a full gallon, but it'd be a dollar more. What if we want, let's get some tortillas. Tortillas are good for, for lots of stuff, such as breakfast burritos, quesadillas. I think we're going to go with the, this is nine cents, but you get 10. I think I'll probably go with this one. I, th I believe that's the best choice. A little high, because I want flour tortillas. Eight count, I want more than that, right? 10 count. Yeah, what else we got? Oh, these are probably good. Actually, yeah, let's go with these ones. Eight count's fine. That'll last us. Eight count for two weeks. I can make that stretch. I just fold the KCD in half, right? From there, we want to do, let's do some Greek yogurt. This is all happening in live time. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I want you to be able to see how much you can actually get from from buying on the low and buying non-name brand things. This yogurt is $1.74 for 32 ounce. That's the one I want. Next, we want to get some eggs. We're moving into some protein stuff now. 18 count, that's an easy choice. That is an easy choice. Getting the 18 count. Got to make those last $2.44. That's worth it. We're almost at 25 bucks. We are cruising. Let's do some tuna cans. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely those ones. Oh, whoa, now this is cheaper, but it's a bigger can. Nah, I think I'm going to stick with these. Let me just get five of these. That'll be enough. Five tuna cans. Let's get some chicken thighs. Chicken thigh guy. How much do we want? Um, I feel like. The four pound is probably the good option for 547. Best option right there. Frozen. Nice. We can make those things last, no problem. Let's get some black beans, preferably in a can. 50 cents. Are you kidding me? Let's get two of those. And from there, we should get how about we need some deli meat? Ham. Now, this is something you're going to want to go low to high, but you also don't want to go too low on this stuff because it's a, it's one of those things you don't want to get wrong. Oscar Mayer, trust him, 16 ounce, compared to an eight ounce. That's the one. That's the one right there. Oscar Mayer ham, beautiful. Now let's get into some fats. I think we need some cheese, cheddar cheese. Now, at this point in the video, you're probably like, okay, I get it. You can shop cheap, but we're going to wrap this thing up. We're going to finish this thing so you can see it. I need you to see it. Let's get some of this cheese. Now we need some mayo. Whoa, unable to add. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I got to go back. How about now? All right, there you go. Got our cheese in there. Let's get some mayo. Mayo, oh my gosh. Thing about mayo is it lasts forever because we don't ever finish those freaking canisters. 30 ounce, 248. I mean, it'll last you forever. I think this is worth it. You'll probably never have to buy mayo ever again. Avocado. Why not? Why not get one avocado? Right? It's good for your skin. Get a tomato. Let's move on to the fruits and veggies. I feel like you're understanding the point I'm making here. We're at 42 bucks. What else can we do? These baking potatoes, I'm going to get eight of them. Let's just get a grip of those. They're 48 cents. And they're so, you could do so much. Let's get some broccoli. Broccoli crowns. 
Nice. I'm just going to get one. Eh. How about two? Let's get two broccolis. Crinkle cut. Crinkle cut carrots. You could probably just get carrots, but I like the crinkle cut ones because they come in this bag, and the bag is pretty dang cheap. We get two of those. All right. How about some bananas? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. Five of those. Easy money. Apple. We are cruising along here. I'll get the gala. Gala apple. That makes more sense. Why would I why would I do? I don't know. All right. Let's get five of these. What do we think? I'm down for five. That's fair. Five sounds good. Yep. Five of those. Piece of cake. We should get some onions. Because uh, we need some flavor in our lives. Let's get two of those. That's the cheapest, correct? Uh, yes. If I just got two, yeah, that's fine. Shouts are pretty cheap. There's a lot of options here, but I feel like that's a pretty pretty cheap choice that we just got. Let's do garlic. I love garlic. I think garlic is ah, great in almost everything. Truthfully, let's get two of these. 90 cents compared to the three, 128. But are you really going to use more than two in two weeks? These cloves last forever. Let's just do lettuce. Oh, lettuce. You could get iceberg. I kind of want to go low to high on this one. Iceberg lettuce, green leaf lettuce. I think green leaf is probably more worth it just because iceberg is supposedly not very good for you. It's like no nutritional value. We need salt and pepper so we can actually have something to uh, to flavor our stuff. Let's do this one. That's a lot of salt for 50 cents. And let's do black pepper. Of course, you can't have salt without pepper. Uh, we're at 57.33. So let's just add this one. We're at 59.20. Wow. Beautiful. Came in under 60. Whoa. Couldn't add a cart. What's going on? All right. 59.20. Look at how much we got for 60 bucks. This can definitely last you for two weeks. You got oatmeal. You got rice. You got your pasta spaghetti. You got your um, bread that you can make sandwiches, not only peanut butter and jelly, but we got the, the deli meat and the mayo and the cheese that you could use. We got chicken and tuna and eggs and yogurt and tortillas, quesadillas, you got the one avocado that you could probably mix into your breakfast somehow. You got veggies here, lots of fruits, some more veggies, and you got some stuff that you can actually season it with for $59.20. And this is none of this was name brand, or maybe Oscar Mayer was, but I think you get the point that if you just buy with great, like whatever their store brand is, you'll be fine. We have so much food here. We have 57 items. And our total is 59.20s. And we can just go to the store and pick it up. That's what this is. Online pickup. You just order it online and go pick it up. So I think this was a very, I think this was very valuable to show because it's like a lot of it, I imagine you could have perceived as lip service. Like these are things you're supposed to do when you grocery shop, blah, blah, blah. Look at look at the numbers. Look what we just accomplished. You know, we had a budget and we stuck within it based on what we needed to do. And it's just about being diligent and shopping correctly. And you're still getting the same stuff. I'm kind of fired up about this. I think this is great. And whatever you choose your budget to be, especially if you're going for that one third, uh, your goal, be diligent in choosing the non-name brand stuff and buy stuff that's going to last you. Rice is going to last you. Oats are going to last you. Pasta is going to last you. Let's see, it's leftovers galore right here. And then you can also make sandwiches. I I, we, I think we did great. I think we did really good. Beans and rice and chicken. Meal prep right there. All right. That's where I'm going to end this video. And I will see you in the next one.